everyone, I am Kathy Jain from 5th semester IT, Bhagwan Parshuram Institute of Technology, IP University, Delhi. And I am going to give a brief overview about Microsoft.NET Framework. Microsoft.NET Framework is a managed code programming model. Managed code basically refers to a code which targets the CLR. This managed code is object oriented, it is type safe, it accounts for multiple versioning support. Microsoft.NET Framework helps developers to develop applications using Windows services, web servers, mobile technology, and embedded systems. It also helps the developers to connect the new and existing software applications, which can be business or personal. Now talking about the core of Microsoft.NET Framework, first the CLR, which is the Common Language Runtime. This accounts for garbage collection. That is, all the, the, all the unused buffers and objects and data can be cleared automatically using garbage collection. Language integration. Language integration states that in, in the same application, various modules can be coded using different languages and they can be integrated together. Next comes the multiple versioning support. That is, no more DLL help. This basically refers that we can have various software versions at the same time in the same applications. Virtual machine. CLR manages the running code just like a virtual machine. Automatic memory management states that the memory allocations in the objects and the buffer is done automatically using the managed heap. Next comes the FCL, which is the Framework Class Library. This provides the core functionality for ASP.NET, Adobe.NET, Web Services, Windows Forms, XML, etc. It also consists of BCL, which is the Base Class Library. This is a library of functionality provided to all the coding languages which use the .NET Framework. BCL consists of a class which encapsulates various common functionalities. Lastly, talking about multiple language support. Multiple language support refers to basically that Microsoft.NET Framework can support multiple languages at the same time with the help of IL, that is intermediate language. Intermediate language is just like the machine language or the assembler, but it is object oriented. The .NET languages are first compiled into IL and then this IL is compiled using the CLR in just in time manner. Next comes the CPS, which is the common type system. This is a rich type system which is built into the .NET framework. It accounts for various types such as int, float, float, car, string, etc. and also supports operations on these types. Using CPS, it becomes very easy to connect various modules use, uh, which use different programming languages. Next come the CLS, which is the Common Language Specification. CLS is a set of specification which all the coding languages which use Microsoft.NET Framework are must to follow. It provides interoperability between various languages and any language that conforms to CLS is a Microsoft language and it has the ability to take the maximum of FCL, which is the Framework Class Library. This was all about the core of Microsoft.NET Framework. Thank you.